Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Padlet's AI-powered text-to-image generator. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. All right, so this is really neat. Now, Padlet's been around for a long time. Padlet's not a new tool, hopefully. Many people are familiar with Padlet. It's a collaborative, uh, like, whiteboard tool where students and or anybody can go and add notes and images and links all in one place. It's a great way to do some collaborative brainstorming. Uh, fantastic tool. Well, Padlet has recently added some AI features, and one of them is a text to image generator. So with Padlet, you can now have it create a picture based upon the text that you have provided. Now, earlier in the uh, session, we had talked about um, using AI generated images as writing prompts. And so that's a possibility. This could be a way to make your own images that you want to provide to students as a writing prompt for them. Um, or this could be great if you wanted to have students illustrate a story they've written, or if you want to illustrate a story that you are reading to the students. So this would be a neat way to go in and create images that go along with the story that the students have written or that you are providing to the students. Or this could just be useful for you to create images for content you're creating. Maybe you're making a slideshow and you can't just find, you can't find the picture you need. You're like, ah, oh, I, I need a picture that fits this better and I can't find a good one or a website or a document or whatever. You could describe the image that you want and the AI will generate that picture. Now, again, it is creating these pictures. It's not Googling them and finding them. It is actually creating these pictures from scratch and you're allowed to use them in any way that you would like to. So let's try that out. Let me head on over to the Padlet website, and I'll pull up my demo Padlet that I've got here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom right-hand corner and click down here to add content. And from there, there's a little three dots button for more attachment types. When you click on that, it gives you the full list of all the things you can add to a Padlet. And one of them is a button that says, I can't draw. And that's the name of the button. That is the AI image generator tool tool in Padlet. So I can come here and click on I can't draw. And this is where it's now going to ask me to uh, describe the image that I want. So for mine, I'm going to keep it really simple. You can actually put in a really long description. I've seen some excellent examples where people typed, you know, a whole paragraph to give a really specific example. I'm just going to say that I want a colorful picture of a penguin on a skateboard wearing sunglasses. And I'll go ahead and submit that. Now, again, it may take it a moment to generate these, uh, but once it does, what you should get is about, I believe six is what I've seen each time, typically six images that it ends up generating for you. And in this case, uh, we've got six different pictures of a penguin um, wearing sunglasses who is skateboarding. Well, one of them didn't get the sunglasses, but five of them got the sunglasses. And I said a colorful picture. They definitely are very colorful here. Um, and so I may say this one down here at the bottom. I, I like that one a lot. I could click on that. And what that's going to do then is it's going to add that. And then I can go ahead and click publish and it's going to put it onto my Padlet. Now you can see I've done that with some other examples already here. Uh, this uh, earlier one I did of a boy playing with his cat with a red ball, that one came from a, a uh, a story. There was a story uh, about that, about a boy playing with his cat. And I use this as an example to show how you could illustrate a, an existing story with this. Um, and then the next one was a, uh, I think the prompt I put in was a friendly robot smiling. And then the last one we just did here was the colorful picture of a penguin wearing sunglasses uh, who is uh, on his skateboard. Um, and so the idea behind this is you can generate any of these images by putting in a text description, find one that you like, and then you can use it however you would like. You can certainly leave it in the Padlet and you could share the Padlet with the students and they could go there to access the image, but you can just give a click on the image and you can download this. You could just do a right click on it and you could say, I want to um, save this image, or you could just copy the image and just paste it right into a slideshow or into a document 
document. So anything you create here in Padlet, you're able to then go ahead and copy and paste or download and reuse elsewhere. So again, if you're looking for a free way to generate uh, AI images by providing text, the Padlet I Can't Draw feature is a really nice way to be able to do that. Now, again, I've been talking about price with all of these, so I will clarify this for you. Um, I am using the free version of all the tools today. Everything you're seeing here, these are all the free versions. So the free version of Padlet, uh, the, the, the limitation is that you're only allowed to have three active Padlets. And as you saw in my example, I only have one Padlet that I'm just using over and over again. So this is perfectly fine. You can just use one Padlet, well, up to three in this case, and you could keep adding more images to those and then, of course, copying and pasting them or downloading them as needed. Uh, there are multiple paid versions of Padlet that provide you a lot more flexibility with how many Padlets you have and how large of the content can be on those. But even with the free version, this is a wonderful, powerful tool to allow us to be able to do text to image generation. All right, good stuff. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.